The Void is the latest 80s movie to come out today because everyone who was a kid in the 80s has now grown up and they can make movies. So we're getting a lot of 80s inspired entertainment lately. And The Void is about a police officer in a very small town who stumbles across someone who at first he just thinks is a drunk kid on the road. When he takes him to a hospital, that's when shit gets really weird. Members of a violent cult start to surround the building, the power goes out, and there's a really odd creature growing out of someone's eyeballs. So that's kind of fucked up, and man did I enjoy it. <laughs> the Void is a throwback to classic 80s body horror, movies like The Thing, with fantastic prosthetic creature and makeup effects. This movie has very little actual CGI in it. There's a green screen moment towards the end. For the most part, this is a makeup lover's dream. The prosthetics in this movie are the star. The creatures that appear in this movie are incredible. It was such a delight for me to see because I'm a huge fan of 80s horror. A lot of people view the 80s as the time period where horror peaked because there was so many chance takers. A lot of people were taking a lot of real risks with horror and making weird as shit movies and not caring. Today we get a lot of independent horror where things are going in a very cool direction with movies like The Babadook and things like that. But with this movie, this is a clear throwback to that era where you just threw a bunch of scared characters in a building and gave them limited weaponry and very little information about what's going on because they're all really just grasping at straws. They don't know what this cult outside is, how it relates to the strange entities that are blossoming out of dead bodies. They don't understand the weird religious teachings of some certain characters in this movie. I won't spoil anything, but it all kind of connects in a very strange way. And you go through this experience with them because they know as little about it as you. And so when these characters discover things or they're just really, really terrified, you feel that way for them because you also have no idea what the hell is going on. That's also one of the movie's faults. This film is a little ambiguous. There are certain answers that are given to you and you can kind of grasp some things and be like, okay, I, I get what you're saying there. But for the most part, I would say this film is really just an excuse to throw back to 80s horror and do some really fun stuff with makeup and prosthetics. And if that is the case, they succeeded very well. I would have liked more well-rounded characters, though. I don't need that in a movie like this. Like, I, this, I'm not going to look at this movie and be like, well, this just has to be a character piece with an amazing screenplay and everything has to be perfect. Oh my god, it's not perfect. I understand that these movies are purely made for fun and to have some really epically gory effects. And they did that extremely well. I still would have liked the film to have more well-rounded characters because the film does ask you to care quite a bit towards the end, specifically in the lead character and his wife, possibly ex-wife. They don't really make that clear. There's some scenes where they really want you to get into their relationship and it just feels like it's drawn a little thin. Also, the ending was a little lackluster for me. It leaves you wondering, it leaves you kind of hanging, and I wanted a little bit more. I just wanted kind of more of a punch. When this film had such an interesting setup and a lot of puzzle pieces that could really make a very cool hole, it does feel a little scattered once the end credits hit, and that was a disappointment. But as a horror film and as someone who really loves these types of movies, this was a lot of fun. I'm going to give The Void a B. It's going to be playing in very select theaters very soon, and I'm not sure about the whole VOD schedule because I got to see this pretty early with a private screener link from the studio. So I'm hoping that this can be more readily available for you guys soon. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck -manized.